half hour. Looking dapper, sir. Right, man. I have my moment.
We have come together today in the presence of God and you as witnesses as we share in an act of worship, as we celebrate the union of this man and this woman. We wish for them the blessings of Almighty God as they take on this journey together. If anyone therefore can show just cause why these two may not be joined together, let such a one speak now or forever hereafter hold their peace. And I can see we're not going to have any problems with that today. Who therefore presents this woman to be married to this man? We do. What's your cue? I can see that I'm going to have to warn you that you can't kiss until I say so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I'm going to ask you a question, and the answer you give determines where we go from here. Reginald, 
Will you have Whitney to be your lawful wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you only unto her, so long as you both shall live? I do and I will. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> and Whitney, will you have Reginald to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you on, on to him so long as you both shall live? I do, and I will. Praise him. Praise him. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, we're going to be having a special reading, and this will be done by Tiffany, sister of the bride. So, Tiffany, I'm going to ask you to come forward now. That's okay. You're fine where you are. You're fine where you are. Are you twins? Okay. <laughs> This poem is called, And I Have You. Rain has dropped, sun has shined, moon has been, make you mine. Rivers have banks, sands for shores, hearts have heartbeats that make me yours. Needles have eyes, though pins may prick. Elmer has blue to make things stick. Winter has spring, stockings, feet, Pepper has mint to make it sweet. Teachers have lessons, soup du jour. Lawyers sue bad folks, doctors cure. All in all, this much is true. You have me and I have you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tiffany. We have a special treat today. The couple have some expressions that they want to share with each other and we have the privilege of hearing them share these expressions today. I'm going to ask you to give your bouquet to your chief and to turn and face each other. Who's going to go first? Sweetie, baby. 
my bride, my dream, my queen. She's a queen. <laughs> my showstopper, my drinking partner, my love of my life, my lovely wife, my alleviation from strife. Baby, we got chemistry, emotionally, metaphysically, and mentally. We were meant to be. Your presence and your essence just catches me, feels divine to me, combines with me, and intertwines with me. <laughs> we live together like hockey and sawfish. <laughs> we live together like doing the artist for swap. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm thirsty, <laughs> give me a glass of water. <laughs> when I'm with you, I don't know why, but with me, when I'm with you, it's like I believe, I believe. He believes he can fly. <laughs> Fighting the heart. Presence, that's how I feel when I'm in the presence of your essence. I feel this way internally, and I feel that if you stay with me forever, you'll live it through eternity. I love you. I was almost tempted to allow a little kiss, but no. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to hold hands and just to stare intently into each other's eyes. It is said that the eyes are the windows to the soul, and so now you're looking into the very eyes of your best friend, your confidant, your lifetime partner, and your lover. And so in another 30, 40, who knows, 60, 70 years time, when you look back, you want you each to remember how the other looked on this day when you took these very sacred vows. I'm going to recite the vows for you. You just repeat after me. Reggie, I'll ask you to go first, and then you Whitney. me. Let us keep looking into each other's eyes, all right? I call upon those present. <laughs> I call upon those present. I call upon those present. To witness that I, Reginald Noel, to witness that I, Reginald Noel, do take you, Whitney Hewlett, do take you, Whitney Hewlett, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, richer or poorer, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness or in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, and there too. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Right. Did pretty well, considering that he's only almost as nervous as I am. <laughs> Some time ago, I asked the groom to recite vows similar to this, and he said, I take you to be my awful wedded wife. <laughs> All right, Whitney, are you ready? Yeah. I'll give you a few minutes, that's okay. <laughs> Looking straight into Reg's eyes, let's repeat after me. I call upon those present. I call upon those present. To witness that I hate you let. To witness that I witness you let. Do take you original Noel. Do take you original Noel. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And there too. And there too. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. And so what do you give as a symbol of your faithful fulfillment in these vows? Can you put the rings in my hand? Yes, can you put the ring in my hand please? Thank you. No, you can give it to me. Give it to me. You can give me the ring. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The couple has given rings as a symbol of their faithful fulfillment in their vows. As you take a close look at these rings, you'll notice that they're in a never-ending circle. And in the very same way, we pray the blessings of Almighty God on your union, that the love that you two share likewise 
will see no ending. Roger, can you take witness rings, please? We're going to hold her left hand in yours, place that at the tip of her finger. Not too far, she's not 100% yours yet. All right, you're going to angle the ring towards the camera, so show the ring to the camera, look at the camera and smile. Show the ring to the camera. Smile at the camera. Now look at each other. It's still smiling, of course. Reggie, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. Look into her eyes. I give you these rings, I give you these rings as a symbol, as a symbol of, our of our mutual love and as a token, and as a token of, the of the covenant made between us, made between us this, day, this day in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and the Son and the, Son, and the, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Now, not to worry, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a little bit too much pork last night. All right. All right. This is yours. I'm going to hold his left hand in yours. And place it at the tip of his finger. <laughs> uh, hold it, show the ring to the camera. Both look and smile. Now look at each other. All right. Whitney, you're going to repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. And as a token. And as a token. Of the covenant. Of the covenant. Made between us. Made between us. This day. This day. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Have as much pork, did you? Keep holding hands for me, please. <laughs> for as much as Reginald and Whitney have consented to join together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, have also declared the same with the giving and receiving of rings and with the holding of hands. With the authority invested in me as a marriage officer for this beautiful island of Jamaica, I now declare that they are husband and wife. Yep, yeah, I said no, can't do it till I say so. And do we realize that they're a little bit anxious at this time? But you may now, you know I remember a little story, you know. But somehow I don't think Reggie is interested in my story. You may now. <clears throat> Kiss the bride. Um, unfortunately, the cameraman signaled to me that he didn't get a good shot, so we're going to have to do that again. And I didn't say you could peck the bride, sir. I don't think mom and dad are going to mind. She's now your wife. You may now. Kiss the bride. And you really didn't have to stop on our account. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to the table now where we're going to do the sign ceremony and walk this way. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to move the line this way for me, please. Oh, after the bride and groom, come. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So shift it around a little so that everybody can see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have another special treat today. The couple will be doing what is known as a sand ceremony. Who's going to pour which one? Okay. And so, I want you to observe a few things with me as we look at this table. First, you will notice that there is one flask with brown sand in it. And this flask, Reginald will now take up. And that represents him in all that he was, is, or could ever become. You will also notice that there is a flask with purple sand in it, which Whitney will now take up. And that flask represents her in all that she was, is, or could ever become. Notice also with me that there is an empty flask on the table. And into that flask, the couple will now pour their individual containers, simultaneously or alternately up to you.
You're doing a good job guys, you're doing a very good job. It looks lovely so far. This act symbolizes the coming together of two individual lives into one. And in the very same way that these grains of sand can never be separated again, so too are their lives inextricably linked. And the two, Reginald and Whitney, have become one flesh. I think they did a very good job and deserve your round of applause. For that. Okay, so we're going to go back to the center now. Here I'm going to introduce you as Mr. and Mrs. May I invite you, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, to stand with me as we welcome the newest couple in the entire universe. Mr. and Mrs. Reginald and Whitney